Hi everyone. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? 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 Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. How are you all doing today? Uh, today we are playing some more Read Story. I thought my audio was messed up for a bit, but I realized I plugged it into the wrong audio source. So yeah, that's me. Anyway, hope you guys are doing fine today and uh, great to see you all today. Uh, today we are doing the uh, Read event uh, again. So I made it to the first two parts where I read through the story and so far the story looks quite nice here. It all started with the back back, uh, back floor in first and then it ended off with us talking to Reed. Apparently we met up with people like Selmon, Fion, and that other guy. Uh, random NPC. But uh, pretty much the story has led us so far to like bodies, dead bodies being controlled by arts. And apparently, Backpipe said she she had she has seen the same art back in County Hillock, which apparently I think Reed is worried about going back there. But we have to see how the story goes. So yeah, she dares not look upon her own shadow, but everyone has noticed the firelight by her side. The so same thing again, where same things again. I love these stages, by the way, because the Reed tiles, the Reed's tiles. Uh, basic um, uh, give operators invincibility, which I kind of like the idea of how they work. So yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's bring in the operators. Uh, yeah, you know what? This is good. I will have to upgrade Reed Alter on stream because if I don't upgrade Reed Alter on stream, or if I don't upgrade Reed Alter soon, I just yeah. Hold on, let me increase the volume. History records that are history records that are out of a sense the war. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My uh. Okay, back to where- where was I? History records that are- that are, no. Damn, I, I really have a hard time with this part of the job. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's just read that. History records that out of a sense the war between- out of a sense the war between D the Draco and Aslan had- had become far too protracted and bitter. The final king, Galio, Galio, signed a peace treaty. I can't English, I tell you. That, that's for sure when it comes to our stories. History for... English? History records that out of a sense, the war between the 
the Draco and Aslan, had become far too protracted and bitter, the final king, Gale, Gale signed a peace treaty. Legends say he opted to melt down his soldiers' weapons as a sign of his determination, but his subjects could hardly accept such a defeat. Thus, they conspired to revolt and assassinated the monarch. Really? He really wanted to, but his subordinates didn't want to agree with it. But just as you referenced in many a speech, a single assassination is not enough to extinguish the Red Dragon's whole bloodline. No matter how the Victorians write the history books, they cannot change what facts we've seen with our own eyes. Daslan promised to share Victoria's kingship with the Draco, yet didn't hand over the crown for nearly a century. With the lion's ambition so conspic with the lion's ambition so conspicuous to this point, I wonder, six blade marks stabbed King Gaian through. How many of them were by Aslan hands? Not to mention the Draco King fleeing the royal capital after the unknown, and the kingdom of Tara without its ruler was subjugated under Victorian sovereign authority, as if a matter of course. I presume it wasn't his own subjects who prevented the Draco's return to the city. This is why I very much enjoy your works based on the tyrant's own ballads. You led the people to see more of history's truth. Thank you for your appreciation. To write the story, I saw plays performed in the country and paid a visit to some wandering minstrels who inherited the tyrant tradition. But what struck me most wasn't the endangerment of tyrant culture. It was how so many lives were just slipping away. Perhaps you believe Tar perhaps you believe the Tarn's ideal nation and a border and a border with Victoria are necessary for the Tarn people to be saved. But I think if we ourselves can live bitter, if we can plant seeds of ideas for the many Tarns who can't read, won't we have one then and there? against the Victorians who want us trapped in ignorance and poverty all our lives? You want to bring that lot with you? Don't even think about it. If you will wait until they rest, if you share your own food with them, that I can accept. But we avoided the patrol out of pure luck the last two days. What if we don't the next time? Those kids must be seven or eight. Can't fight back with weapons. Run fast. Can't run fast enough. What do you want? What do you? What do you do about that? I can fight. I'll protect them. You want to cross through the, unin the uninhabited region to completely escape trans jurisdiction? I can eat you the whole way. Hold on. You want to cross through the uninhabited regions to completely escape trans jurisdiction. I can eat the whole way. I contacted the organization I belong to. With the help of Bagpipe, Bagpipe and Chen, my colleague, I've confirmed the closest safe house is just along this way. If we all need if all we need is some tents and a small amount of emergency supplies for the countryside, they can transport it over without a problem. And I know the territory over there it belongs to a well-hearted dude. Once we're there, the army won't be after you anymore, at the very least. Really? There's an honest-to-God noble who smile on people like us? He has reason to shelter the tyrant. And how do you know? For long, perhaps we'll all know. We have, we'll have ways to survive, bringing those people along. But don't forget, they're infected. We've constantly been scared. 
We've constantly been suffering with our lives. What are we doing inviting death to our side? And we don't know when the sick will have and we don't know when the sick sick will have their flare ups or when they'll just kick the bucket out right. What's the point in you saving these sorts of people? I don't know. I only know that when someone saved me, I wanted to ask her the same. Why? Even though I was so close to death. What are you getting at? I'm an infected too. What? Oh, uh. <coughs> All right. It doesn't mean much to be infected. We wouldn't have lived much longer than infected ourselves without your help anyway. <laughs> Still, our empathy won't spread just because we're in this place. It's okay. You can keep a bit of distance. You're scared. I don't mind. But take those infected with you on your escape. Trust me. Fine. I trust you. Salman, you heard what she said. I'm not clean. If you're gonna take the ones that can't fight, take them. Shoot your own self. But my aim isn't gonna change one bit. I'm returning to Dublin. These two units have gone unaccounted for a week by now. We may surmise that these circumstances relate to Dublin, being similar to past Spectre forces. Similar? No. The situation we're looking at now is completely unalike. These rebels previously would muster a single armed force to surface somewhere, launch an attack, and that was it. Now violence, which we suspect to be Dublin incited, is blanketed, is blanketing every corner of South Victoria. Is the Marquess of Trent sticking to sticking fast to his orders? Obviously, no matter the volume of suspicious circumstances reported outside nomadic cities. We must have clarity on them. Get this entire region's state of affairs under control. But of all the small-scale conflicts, only the arson at Red Ridge seems truly suspect, and there was no follow-up on, on the fire either. Fire there either. Maybe we should set these particular dossiers aside for now, or should we should leave them? It's time to read more story. No! <laughs> Hi Jack, how's it going? Nice to see you on the stream. Please lend said dossiers to me, officers. Your and refrain with the greetings. Also, just as before, no need to make a record of access to the dossiers. This arson may be worth the deeper investigation. Have a sip of water. Old Brenda. I picked some berries too. This place can't be too far from a settlement. So how do you like the pun? No! <laughs> if you have to read it from 1 to 10. Uh, no, I'm joking. Uh, I give it I give it a 7 out of 10. It follows along the tongue, especially the fact that the main mechanic of like the first the, the first two, one of the first two mechanics in the early parts of this event is literally the, the read tiles because we have read the operator, we have read the tile where operators hide. So like I give it a 7 out of 10. I give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah. And then we have read sister. So I give it, actually, now that I explained it thoroughly, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. You know what? An 8 out of 10. I'll bump it up to an 8 out of 10. You know what? That that That's fine. Yeah. Have a sip of water. Oh, we're done. We're yeah, done. I picked some berries too. This place can't be too far from a settlement. What would it grow this thick? You want some berries too, Holly? All right. You eat those, and then you walk on with. You walk on your own two legs this afternoon. You won't need any. You won't need anyone else carrying you. Okay. Ah yes, I love crappy buns. We all do. How about you, moron? Wait, you don't eat stuff this way. Do you? Thank you. Uh, hey, how long are we stopping here for? 
While Bagpipe and Chen are fetching things for us, we're all knackered as it is. We're all knackered as it is. Anyhow, we've got a chance to catch our breaths. Don't worry. I guarantee. Don't worry. I guarantee we'll find the closest village before lights out. We're far enough from all the trouble we made, anyhow. If we hang around here and hold up for a few days, be on and get caught. Fine. Pick me some berries too. First time seeing you happy in this. Er, uh, really? I've just been glad Reed's so reliable, and her two friends too. Kind souls. Plus they can fight. Sure. Did you get Reed? Yes. I actually got her yesterday, uh, RC. You weren't there, but I got Reed. Yeah, I got Reed yesterday. I even got my my. I even finally got Bagpipe, but I didn't got her from that six star uh, guarantee operator banner. I got her from the shop because I wanted Bagpipe from the shop. Put her on English VA. Uh, yeah, I don't know about putting her on English VA, but I do. I, I'm just lazy to download resources, <laughs> right? Sure, you know what? I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Uh, you sure? It's not just how your days of suffering are almost at an end. We're going to keep pushing into the waste. Find Dublin and join them. You thought... You thought... What? What? Okay, wait, hold on. We're going to keep pushing into the waste. Find Dublin and join them. You... You, though... I bet you prefer to stay behind in the village, like. Er, I can't say that for sure. I, uh, I just can't get over you doing, you lot doing things this way. We're all, we were all happy with just escaping at first. The further, the better. That was before we went into Selman. She only got to proceed you all to join the Dublin, to join Dublin once stuff got tougher on us. B is Melina for. Oh no wonder. It's Melina from it's Elden Ring's Melina VA. Oh no, okay. I never played Elden Ring because obviously I never play console games these days. Like actual adventure games as such. But I heard Melina's VA before. I think I might have heard Reed's VA a few times, the English one, but yeah. Because you are endless. Okay, so see here's the thing. You say that, but do I care? No, I don't. What you said does not affect me. In fact, if I'm made in this, so are you. I know you just laughed there. <laughs> unless you uh, unless you have maidens, good for you. Good for you. I, I say good for you, good for you, good for you. She only got to persuade you all to join Dublin once stuff got tougher on us. Me being Megalus' candidate, man! I'm sorry! 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 I didn't mean it to turn it out like this way! Oh my goodness, it's canon the whole time! <laughs> okay. She only got to persuade you all to join the Dublin once stuff got tougher on us. None of you even seen a real Dublin arm, have you? Are you still thinking about Reed? She contacted Rhodes Island and told two of us after borrowing our comms group. Getting supplies has been good too. All signs indicate she's not out to trick us. Haha, <laughs> I'm not suspecting her as much. I'm just a little concerned. Did she really make a recovery? Granted, she's a pretty beer, pretty beer, but I'm still a little surprised at all the life in her. She gave my hands a right shot swinging at me before we recognized each other. Suppose that's a good thing though. Just, I can't shake the feeling there's weight on her mind. Whatever it is, she wants to do it, but it seems to hurt her so much. Nice suit, nice suit, Mid Chen Shen. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, after reading the dialogue, I forgot Bagpipe calls Chen Chen Chen. That, that's so cute. That's so cute. 
Also, Chen's outfit. Can we have this in the game? I say that, but at the same time, we still don't have stuff like Gabiol's outfit. We still don't have Blaze's outfit. suppose that's a good thing, though. Just, I can't shake the feeling there's weight on her mind. Whatever it is, she wants to do it. But it seems to hurt her so much. Plus, plus what? The way she fights just seems somehow familiar. Did I meet her? Even before Outcast brought her in? I could count the block. Oh, hi. There you are, Reed. Perfect. Me and Chen Chen have been talking. We are talking about which way we're heading. This route happens to take us to a nearby settlement. Dude, this blue girl is like captain on police department. And the Scottish just called her Chen Chen. <laughs> I mean... I mean, it's quite funny how... How even though like... They're, she's, Chen is like a serious person. Bagpipe is not so much a serious person. I mean, I got reminded of her recruitment lines yesterday. Her recruitment like literally said like... Oh, Chen told me that I could sign up here. Uh, for operators because I need some I need some people. It's like, oh okay, back to Piper. After that, oh you need to have full room booking. And she's like she wasn't prepared for this. She was like she was like slightly panicking. Like what did I sign up for? You signed up to be my operator. Yes. We're talking about which way we're heading. This route happens to take us to a nearby settlement. No, we can't. Keep going. No, we can't keep going in this direction. I'll tell the others to stop. Are you saying... Tension! On your nine! The cavalry saber concealed in the bushes snaps in two. The one holding it doesn't shift an inch. Ten is sure her slash didn't harm anyone. But out from under the bush is still a hint of spilled blood. Blood deep and dark, cold and dry. Oh my goodness. Dude, let's just get laid back life and throw some potatoes with bagpipe through this Victorian war. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it, it, it's literally, it's literally that. It's literally that, like, like you <laughs> Screw the Victorian war. Oh my goodness. Anyway, the one holding it that doesn't shift an in. Chen is sure her slash didn't harm anyone, but out from under the bush is still a hint of spilled blood. Blood deep and dark, cold and dry. Is this dead patrol? No, they're from the barracks. There's more over there. Traces of bolts, saber, and arts. This battle probably happened a week ago. This barracks unit was ambushed and slaughtered to a man. Who was the enemy then? How come they didn't leave a single corpse behind? They left. They've all left. But with a battle this fierce, what side should take should have taken equal damages, right? Backpipe. Remember the group of soldiers we discovered before encountering Reed? Hmm. They had uncanny arts planted in them. Eyes full of fire. Reed, you were in County Hillock too. Didn't you see soldiers like that? Yes, I know of them. They're hard to tell. Those with misfortune of cease. Get unable to rest. You're not saying the ones who killed these soldiers are dead themselves? And they're still marching even after? The traces of the traces of firefights which we we were chasing before, it resembles those two. It's the only possibility. Tension, I don't know what your thoughts are, but I I can't quite accept it if that's what this is. What kind of person would Keep on controlling them, even after they're dead. That's just far too cruel. Someone? Like hell they're dead. They're all howling up the wrong tree. But we saw with our own eyes. We saw something somewhere else. I only believe what I see. Dublin defeated a Victorian unit. They won, moved on to the next place. And now they're prepping to save more tyrants. You know I'm gonna... Are you worried about something? Don't act like my da. If the own lot want to go with you, to their own self. But I know you're not in with us. It's those two Purivir you're with. 
You just want to settle us someplace. Ensure we're not going to die today. You will make us live the same old life Victoria had for us, not knowing if we'll see tomorrow. And after that, you'll abandon us. Am I not right, leader? No, no, don't call me that. Right, no. Single word I heard from you so far. I heard most from you so far. I'm heading off now, going the way you didn't want us to go. It's only war and death, isn't it? Like the tyrants haven't seen plenty of both. I don't want to hear an outsider tell me no ever again. I know she's fuming, but truth is, it's not you who's pissing her off. I know. So are you, uh, um, alright? Are you, um, are you alright? I want to go with her. There might still be unexploded mines and lingering arts left on the battle. It will be dangerous to keep going that way. Can you call the rest over for me? Can you want these parents to take care of the battlefield? Hmm. But someone says it's their choice. And I I promise I escort them until until I'm no longer needed. Battle time! Battle time! Battle! The battle! The battle! The battle! Uh, I, I keep saying to battle. Uh, reminds me. Doctor! I'm waiting for Burn the haystack! I will burn the haystack! Also, this BGM is fire. Oh, I should have used S2, not S1. Ah, oh, gosh dang it, they got read! No, read! Mission accomplished. I should probably start upgrading this though. Ah, oh, never imagined we get a hot meal indoors safe and sound after so many days on the run. That bagpipe girl must be the darling of everyone. We were all gushing to her about how good her skill was. She's definitely not bad on that front. How's your discussion on settling down? Has it been smooth? We're all, we're all decided. Anyone who can't handle rushing staying behind, 
They'll borrow two storehouses to tuck away in for the next two days. Refugees scuffling with the caravans, but never actually stealing, stealing anything. That's their common. The law won't get hung up on that. In a few days, they won't be mentioning it on the radio anymore, and we won't need to hide. Then we can get to building our own houses. Uh, but the few with Orifati will uh, Orifati be living a bit ways out of the village. The people here are very friendly. Ah, uh, yeah, they are. If anyone sheltered us a while, we were still running. We wouldn't be in this style of sea of escape now. Not that it's anyone's fault. Didn't used to be much. Ha uh, didn't used to be much a hassle taking in a bunch of refugees or like the like. But life's getting scarier for everyone now. Look at Salman, the Colleen. If she and her brother had some place to take them in, she wouldn't be running from settlement to settlement, picking up all this fuss. She could spend the night in the village like us, but she's all stubborn about hiding outside. Since since she stole a man's stockings here once. See, and now she's awkward about running into him. Ah, you never heard it from me. You, you let her know. You'll be on my case about disrespecting her again. Good evening. Oh, Morn? What are you doing here? It's so dark out. I'll send you back while the lamps are still lit. Thank you, but I'm used to making my way in the dark now. Is Reed here, if you don't mind? You're looking for her? She went out on her own. Maybe Reed's got something on her mind. Selman hasn't spoken so much as a word to her since she got here. Don't worry, Black Flag's gone to find her. Hmm. Actually, put it this way. Our bigger concern is if Reed gets annoyed by the noise. Oh? Is it? Whoa, sorry. It's alright. Oh. I wasn't watching out. I didn't think there'd be anyone here. It all goes pitch dark every time they sound the bell. It takes a moment for my eyes to adjust. Luckily, it's you I ran into. Might knock anyone else clean over. Th thought they said they wouldn't need anyone on watch tonight, though. I just wanted to sit for a while outside. Oh, it's the smell of hay, isn't it? Wonderful, that. Hey? Yeah, that's hail fire. That hay. That's hay pies or hay pies? Pies? No, piles. I am not eating a hay pie. Whatever that is. Yeah, that's hay piles over there. Been ages since I was around this mill. So I came out to get a proper whiff out of them. Back when I was prepping to get into military school, I have headaches from studying so much theory. So I just get onto a hay pile and lie back for a bit and feel right as rain again. Mom always told me off for being lazy. Said I shouldn't quit thinking about questions just because thinking gets too hard. But having too much stuff going on in your brain does wear a person out, you know. Hmm. So, give me your hand for a sec? Um, come on here. Come on, here now. Let's lie down together, just for a bit. I'm not so good at thinking over stuff, so I might not be of much help to you. But the hay will, be. I'm sure of it. I must take a picture of this. I must picture. Picture. Pretty good art they have here as always. Laid back. Oh, Yudu Kampu. Oh my goodness, it's literally is Yudu Kampu. Oh my goodness, it's literally Yudu Kampu. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, it's Yudu Kampu all over again. Oh, it is Yudu Kampu. Oh my goodness. So I'm just checking whether that picture registered. Really good picture, I love it. Okay. Up. Oh. pipe relaxes and lies back on the hay pile, humming a folk song she learned just a while ago from the farmers. 
Also, Backpipe B is the same as Inu Inuyama Aoi's. Oh, no wonder it's familiar. No wonder it's familiar. It fits now. It's all connected. It's freaking Eurocamp the whole time. At this point, nothing has ever changed. Uso yade. <laughs> Uso yade. <laughs> Backpipe relaxes and lies back on the hay pile, lightly humming a song, a folk song she learned just a while ago from the farmer. A gentle night breeze passes by. She follows her suggestion and takes a deep breath. But what she smells isn't the aroma of hay. It's in the, it is said scant mud and ash. But it hits me now. What did, what did you send? Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? The voices. The voices. There, I can hear the voices. It's echoing back in my head. I thought I got written of that. Apparently, thanks to RC, it's now back in my head. It's living rent free. When it hits me how I've spent three years without going home, it always feels so funny. Think about it. The ground's waiting for you to till it. The weed's waiting for you to reap it. Spend one year away, and you missed an entire go round of all the important stuff. Every bit, every bit of it. I can't even get my letters from home until the next time I'm back on Rhodes Island. Do you miss home? Do you miss home very much? Of course I do. You? Were you from County Hilo? No. I used to live in a city about the same as County Hilo. Flush red flick, great payments, great paper. Buildings two or three floors high, allowing vines growing around the windows. I yearn after those peaceful times a lot. There were so many old books at home, and some manuscripts too. I liked to hide away in the study and lock the door, so I wouldn't have to hear anyone talk to me. Oh! You had piles of family making a racket then? Or was it visitors all the time? No. Thankfully. No thankfully. No. Thankfully. I just... I could avoid so much trouble if I hid. I could see into the street from the window in there. I could see my parents coming back after a day of work. I would love to go back there if I could. Oh? So the place isn't... Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm making it worse for you, aren't I? It's okay. It was all so long ago. I might not be much different to the ordinary people whose lives were ruined at Council the Lock. Or those or to these refugees leaving their home behind. They all they can all settle down here and rebuild their houses. But where is their homeland? And the ones who are forced out even farther. Where are they fleeing to? I thought I'd just see why. What? 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 Wait, what why? You mean this why? Is it this way, Quinpin? Never mind. What? What? So confused. I am so confused. I'm not gonna. I, I, you know, I'll stop. <laughs> You're too innocent. Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, hold on. They can all settle down here, rebuild their houses, but. Where is their homeland? And the ones who are 
course out even farther. Where are they fleeing to? Hmm. You're having trouble answering these questions just on your lonesome, aren't you? Hmm. But I'm not saying it. I'm not saying no use thinking over them. But I'm not saying it's no use thinking over them. Hi Poon Poon by the way. Uh welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing fine today. If you can't come up with an answer alone, we can think together. Whenever I had a question I couldn't fill in, I'd always bother Chen Chen about it. And later down the line, I'd prattle on at my captain. I mean, they found me annoying as flip, but still, they chat with me every time. Help me solve issues. What about you? You got anyone to speak your mind to? Like a sister or a schoolmate? Or someone in arms? That sort of... There's my older sister, but you don't get along much? Still recovering from sleep, this, uh, still recovering sleep from the CC sanity, insanity? Oof. I oh, hope you get well soon. You don't get along much? No, I shouldn't be saying this. I shouldn't. You know, someone was right about one thing, actually. You're always saying no out of habit. But she misunderstood a little. It's when you're talking about yourself that you're most fond of saying no. Like, ah, oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I can't put it into words. It's like you're straining. It's like you're straining to break away from something. I've been told something like that before. Oh, what? Really? She take, told me I didn't have to seek death, that I could dodge this. Outcast, eh? There's something she would say. I regret. I regret not having it in me to say anything more to her. I want to ask her so badly. Why say? What? Oh, I'm not sure how she answered myself. But, you know, Reed, why not ask yourself before asking her? What do you see in yourself? Myself? <laughs> oh, someone's over there. But the way they feel about, I think, more. She can't see it. Gosh, why she's out here by herself then? Miss Warren, need any help from us? Oh, you just stand still there for a sec. We'll be right over. Thank you. Where's Reed? Can I ask? They said she gone out. I'm right here. Sorry. Excuse me. But am I able to go with you? I don't mind where it is. I've still got some strength. I can work and fight. Want to fight? I do. They all say I won't live much longer. That's my only option. That my only option is dying without a word in some corner. I don't agree with that. If you want to survive as a Taran, then change workshops and accept lower pay. If you want to survive as with Orifati, then move out and get to the infected neighborhood. I'm done listening to all that. Reed, I used to not be this way, but then I met you. They tell me you're an infected too. It's you who convinced someone and the rest to bring us here. You trust me like Yon does? Please, no pressure. I I don't want to be a burden on you or anyone. I just want to do something. Anything. People like me have nothing left to lose as it is. If I can bring someone or other or other to if I can bring something or other to the rest of the Tarns, then I want to do it. If my legs can still walk forward, then I want to go with you. I think that's fine. Reed, for now, let's go together. How about it? The redhead pretty beer. To the redhead pretty beer. The question is not one read just one. Wait, let me read that again. To the red haired pretty beer. Questions not one read to respond to because she starts pulling read along before an answer even comes. 
Reed takes a glance back at their visitor. She knows more and has night blindness. I need someone to guide the way when darkness falls. With little time to hesitate, Reed extends a hand to Warren. Let's go. Is that it? No. Here you are, finally, Miss Harmony. I was beginning to think I'd never see you today. A wine, a wine tasting courtesy of the Viscount? How could I ever miss it? But of course, but of course. A friend of the Marquess of Trent. You're the Viscount's greatest honor. That's right. Sorry. Um, but of course, but of course. A friend of the Marquess of Trent. You're the Viscount's guest of honor. It's all thanks to your It's all thanks to your introducing me that I closed out that bit of prior business. I've been looking forward for an opportunity to thank you all this time. Oh, it was quite nothing, Mr. Paul. I've no noble I've no noble personage or even property in my name. At most, I'm just a messenger, scampering around so the ones in charge don't have to. Wait, can I can I recreate the animation? transferred to this county a short while ago. Youngsters like him tend to have break their backs a little if they want a quicker promotion. Eh? Uh -huh. A universal truth, no? You're too modest. Oh yes. I heard from some friends that the Duke's armies are very frequent on the move now. They put every core of their 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 their, their duty. Wait what? Huh? Duchy. Duchies. Duchies? Wait, what the heck does that mean? The territory of a duke or duchess. A dukedom. Oh! Oh, it's the territory! Oh! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Anything. Oh, yes. I, I heard from some friends that the Duke's armies are very frequent on the move now. They put every poor city of their, yeah, their duchies under strict martial law. You've always been on top of the news. Could you lend me a sly word whether war seems imminent? The paper certainly forecasted, don't they? After all, the Duke's fleets did trundle up to London, Londonium's walls some while ago. I'm not much concerned with the sarcasm. I'm referring to between the Dukes, um, based on Harris, based on hearsay. That's it, just hearsay. What? There's been a lot of originium fuel circulating into some trend. The Mar the Marquess and the Duke of Castor have always been jolly with each other, but County Trent and the Iron Duke's Duchy shared a board share a border. My my, Mr. Hall. All intercity fuel trades requires a inspection and approval. I presume you have some very good friends in municipal management, no? Ha ha ha. Just for business purposes. Miss Harmony, you might not follow the war too closely, but you came in from another city, didn't you? You've been fortunate not to run into any hassle when you did, but I. But do I ask you to take care of the? But I do ask you to take care on the journey, the return journey. 
I hear it's hideous in the villages beyond the nomadic cities. There's rebel elements popping up now and then. Even a case of arson a few days ago. What sort of rebel elements are these during your attention? Attention is a strong word. Similar things happen in spades anywhere the functions live. It's that fire that's strange. Haha. <laughs> this might not be true, so I pretended I'm just so, this might not be true, so pretend I'm just telling you about some country. Some county tale. Country tale, okay. Eyewitnesses, eyewitnesses say that fire wasn't quite the ordinary one. It was ferocious as an explosion, but not a hint of a regenium explosive was found where it happened, and the nightmarish effort it took to extinguish it. Ooh! Another photo! I will grab all the photos! I don't like this green cat. Her expression is mocking me. Oh my goodness. Uh, can you explain your, your reason to hate the green cat? I'm quite curious. Unusual fire. All too likely to be a coincidence. But all too familiar of a description to her. Maybe. Could it be Lashini? Lashini? Wait. Could it be Lashini? Harmony is stunned. The Brigadier's warning has certainly roused some anxiety in her heart. Ever since that Rhodes Island ship has sailed into Victoria, she's been absent any hold of information on Lashini. They're just bad. Like orange cat, just like orange cat. Oh, which one? Orange cats. I I'm thinking there's too many of them. The brigadier's warning has certainly roused some anxiety in our heart. Ever since that Rhodes Island ship had sailed into Victoria, she'd been, she's been, she'd been absent any hold of information on Lush. Someone without a doubt had been helping Rhodes Island cover their tracks. Clearly, this, pharma this pharmaceutical company was not as simple as she first assumed. And on the same coin, a lossony aboard Rhodes Island would be a lossony immensely difficult for the rest of Victoria's powers to find. So why? Why would lossony leave the ship? Why would she surface somewhere so close to Eblana? Ooh! Ooh! He turned his head! Whoa! That's some attention to detail! Hey yo, that's some attention to detail I love there! I'm sorry, I'm taking all the pictures. Don't mind me. I'm a picture enthusiast. Alright, I gotta go. Take care. Take care, see you later, RC. From behind Harmony, there is a gaze. Her every move has been closely watched since the second she stepped into the ballroom. But it is this moment when the gaze truly focuses on her. Miss Harmony? Hmm? I'm sorry, I was just thinking about the dance tonight. Hey, what color earrings would I be best off wearing? Sir, I assume you've seen the relevant dust here, as well as all my reports. 
I suggest we come into operation immediately. Very well done, youngster. Have you tried the whiskey filled chocolates out on the table? <laughs> I hope you're well. I hope you're well, Duke of Castro. I didn't expect you to. Have you tried the whiskey filled chocolates out on the table? I hope you're well, Duke of Castro. I didn't expect you would grace this party, let alone be waiting here. Who would miss such a grand story? Just listening to the chamber performance blows my careers away, even from behind my partition. I do hope you're enjoying yourself too. I'm still on duty. I can't be complacent. Our every effort is made so that the masses can enjoy their serene lives. Intelligence officers may be lo the lookout, forced to keep a tense nerve even in times of peace, but you'll have your serenity one day. Unless I forget, how's your health? My gratitude for your concern, Duke. It floors me that you notice the infection of an average intelligence officer like myself. I don't be nervous. You're not hiding anything. As I say, you've done very well. By, by a way of a reward, would you like a promotion after your mission is over? Or would you like to eat? We're done? Oh, we're done. Okay, that was three done. I know the story did took a while here and like about to be an hour since I read that, but I'll try to see how long I can go for. So let's see here. Uh, four. Sorry, it, sorry, it's good. It's good BGM. Wait, do I even have any medic vouchers? Not medic vouchers. <laughs> I don't even have medic chips. How am I supposed to upgrade Reed? Well. Well, I guess it is what it is. Wait, hold on before I continue. Seven minutes, thank you. Uh... I can't even upgrade Reed now that now that like, I can't upgrade Reed because. The fact that uh, 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 Resources received. Resources received. Resources received. Resources received. Resources received. Resources received. あんたに任せる。俺は別に何でもいい。この部屋、漏電対策はしっかりされていますか？ Good, 
ごきげんようドクター The king claims to sort the air in people's dreams. Guys, I see people ahead. There's army. That way. Or seven? Seven o'clock? Oh, no worries. We got the message. But are you sure that's what you saw? But are you sure that's what you saw? But are you sure that's what you saw? There's not a hint of human life anywhere in these parts. Why would the army be patrolling out here? Hand me the binoculars. There's very little terrain nearby that would conceal us. Everyone, please hide here for the moment. I'll go with you. I know the Victorian army is more, than, more thorough than you do, huh? Yeah? Hmm, thank you. Someone, come take a look. If I crouch under this rock, the enemy won't see me from any angle, will they? Ah, I have that. Good. Then, gosh, we go through the waste for four days without a peep. No catastrophe or status piece. And then we hit a roadblock at the very end. Just our luck, you figure. Now stop sticking your head out and keep low with the rest of us. It's been so long. Still don't trust Reed's lot? No, as a matter of fact, it's the blind type I like her I least trust. She only wants to do stuff that doesn't offend nobody. That way, if she ever makes a mistake, it won't really be her fault. You bloody... You just don't like her stopping us from going to do Maybe. But I don't say nothing to you either, I do I? Confirmed. It's a small-scale Victorian deployment. But judging by their equipment, not from a nearby barrack. Their weapons are highest caliber. If we fought, there's little chance we'd win. They might not be searching for us, but just in case, we better hide ourselves. Based on their current advance, they won't catch sight of us. You don't give me lip for what I say because nobody listens to what I say. Anyhow, I'm jealous of how she's taking over my show. Those troops are coming closer. Watch over. Give me a good position to watch them. Ah, I'm begging you. Don't cause trouble. What's happening? Are they scuffling? Some group ambushed them in the past. So, so if we not stopped to hide just now, we would have been strong too? Who was waiting there? Hey, I can't make out too clearly, but those clothes they're wearing look a bit like Selmans, don't they? That's gotta be Dublin, right? Dublin. One dawn eight months ago, just after I finished work, I was eating breakfast in a cafe in County Peninsula. A voice came from my radio. It said with their flames, they would cleanse Victoria of filth. In the name of the Tarans, they would declare war on Victoria. They called themselves Dublin. 
Just a bunch of greedy thugs trying to give themselves the title. Thug. The ones common the ones common sense would identify as thugs more or less all died in County Shillong. Someone intended on using an entire city of Tarns to test the Tarn born Duke, but didn't anticipate the leader of Dublin conversely pointing that. After the conclusion of the incident, Dublin successfully purged all unstable elements from the city and further gained the surrounding Tarn populace support, keeping intact directly under Victoria's nose. Dublin's leader is undeniably well versed in the behavior of nobility. It's no wonder, considering her background and her hidden supporters. That leader and her intelligence personnel are both fully aware it was the barracks that she that shelled the masses with dirty bombs. That being why the truth of the county Hillock will never be traced nor pursued. However, I read the reports of all the reports. Some say the Dublin leader some say the Dublin leader that appeared in County Hillock on that day is more than one person. That doesn't match up with the other intel we got from Have you seen these two jigsaw puzzles? He said it! I'm sorry. Have you seen these two jigsaw puzzles? They're exactly the same. As long as the forms are identical, they can fill the same holes. And the moment you put them together like this, the most people who can cast an eye will treat one piece like the other shadow. Shadow? So that's why you suspect that previous arson case, the one tied to Duke. It was only a suspicion at first. It was until the reaction from that harmony feeling that something, some interesting information. Who knew the Duke of Wellington would actually turn a blind eye to King Gael's other descendants walking freely in the wild? Madam, as you predicted, someone took the people from those farming households in for questioning this morning. I looked into it. They weren't wearing barracks uniforms. Seems they're not part of the nearby patrol at all. Hmm. Say, if I asked for a holiday and went out traveling, what would the better location be? Britannian or Casimir's? Or maybe I would run off even farther. This may be, like my good friend from the school old days, I'll take a trip to the end. I don't understand what you mean. Ah, <clears throat> uh, forget it. We'll be caught in a snare if we don't trip so. But either way, we do need to remedy this as best we can, ensuring her safety is priority number one. You mean, my dear friend Lush? You're sure she's the one they're looking for? Well, can you be sure she's not? We got no other choice. Who let her be the leader too? We can't allow her to fall into anyone else's hands, especially not the Duke of Castor. Come now, we need to pay the Brigadier a visit. Selman, what do we do? You said you'd take us to shelter with a Dublin squad. And now they're right here in front of us, fighting with Vic's army. My gut says we should head in and help the Tarn's troops. My brain says we need to show some loyalty before we join them. I mean, right? Right? No, no. What are you people on about? We'll never beat those servicemen. And besides, what would Reedslock think? They're hiding over there. They're not that near us. Maybe they won't see what we're doing. Oh gosh, down goes another. We can't just sit here watching Terrans get beat to death, can we? Film, take a look behind. How are Reed's bunch reacting to this? All men, pull back. Prioritize shaking pursuit. Our, investi our investigatory mission is complete. We can't waste our time here. Dublin's far, Dublin deployed far too many diversions. Captain, human activity at 3 o'clock. Who are they? Seemingly normal refugees with improvised weapons. Initiate contact and confirm, confirm the true situation. All men, prepare to fight on two fronts. Beware the possibility of Dublin's regular forces disguising as civilians. Hey, what's he doing poking his head out from the bunker? Oh, the unit knows this here. The unit knows this here. They're coming over. I'll try to... I'll try and see about negotiating with them. I'll tell them it's all civilians here. No, Tara's local barracks would never trust civilians. They never protected us before. 
Ah, ah, hi there. We're tired. We want to join Dublin. Oh? What the hell? Fall back. Retreat ASAP. These two units are attacking us simultaneously. But aren't Dublin meant to be defending Tarns? I can't give you a response. All I know is these soldiers are already dead. Standard pile driver spear. Pretty rear. You're ex Tempest Platoon personnel, aren't you? Oh, have we met before? Well, since we're not strangers, that makes things easier. We're not in ambush, and we got nothing to do with Dublin either. You got in the wrong idea about us. Ha! Ah, surprise, surprise. That Fisher boy only sent me out here to follow a trail, and here we run into this into his true bullhead first. No, I wager he sent me here specifically to wait until you run in until you ran into us. No, I wager you sent me here specifically to wait until you ran into us. Bagpipe, why are you protecting the Tarns? Eh? Because that's our duty, right? The Tarns are Victorians too. If we clear up the misunderstanding, are we able to miss ceasefire? Attacking civilians is a violation of military discipline. What gives you the continued right to say that? Eh? What's wrong with me? You seem to be not... You seem to not... Be duly aware of the situation here. Oh, excuse me. I'm very well aware. My friend said you wouldn't protect the Tarn civilian, and I've just confirmed she was right. You're the same as that old Col you're the same as that old Colonel Hamilton Hamilton back in County Hillock, now. Nah? So even though I'm discharged, I'm positive now. I still have to fulfill a Victorian serviceman's duty and do what you're not willing to do. Defend these civilians' lives. Then let me ask. Have you ever inquired into that white-haired Brutivier's identity? Come on, let's go, Salmon. Everyone's looking to escape. No. Ah, uh, now's not the time to be stubborn. I know this is hard to take, but what, but what Chin said seems true. So, let's get away for now. Come on, survive first, then we can talk about after. Who's that you're staring at? Wait, it can't be. Bro. Oh, her brother died. Oh no. There, Kyung. There, Kyung. There, Kyung. Your wound is like last time. It's not too severe. But it'll still hurt. Mm, that's whatever. As long as I don't see blood, anything else flies with me. Coward, you said you helped Sel Selman. All you done was scarf her with her on your shoulders. N nothing wrong with that. At least we made it out. All of us made it out. Ugh. Reed, I need to ask something. I've been wanting to ask it all day. You and your friends seem to be professional and stuff, but I still don't. I still just don't get it. I just still just don't get. It. Why do you say those people, those Dublin people, are dead? Is there any options they're sleepwalking? Maybe it's that witchcraft from the legends that makes people lose their consciousness. Just, just on the off chance. That they are sleepwalking. We could go and wake them up. Can't. I wish I could provide you some consolation, but it's a unique origin of art I recognize. Uh, all right. I'm just a little frightened myself. What someone's gonna think though? What's wrong with her? Oh, go on and tell Fiona. We all know her. You're the one vouching for her since the beginning. She's a good girl. We wouldn't have come with her otherwise. Otherwise, the, the truth is, I actually know her because she robbed me once. We sat down and got talking with one another in the end, of course. She just wanted a pair of sturdy boots. Her brother was out in the snow that winter with half his soul worn, worn through. His feet frostbitten in something hideous. So you gave her yours? No, actually, her brother went off to Dublin. I was only in time to recover for them. I couldn't do them any solid boots quickly enough. The fact is, she's been out here this whole time looking for her brother. What? She brought us to join Dublin just for that? No, it's more than that. It's... She wanted to join Dublin along with her brother. She just ran away on the way there. That was two years ago. Think how it, tough it must have been on her, catching up to her brother today. Say, how do you think my family's doing? They're still back living in the village. 
It's about time they replace the roofing bro. Once we find a place to stop over, I'm getting a messenger to ask how they're doing. It's alright. I'm sure they're fine. I'll help you find that messenger. Come then. Rand. Wh where are we going? We chased the Dublin squad that was all dead people. And Selman's not found her own. Where should we head now? Uh, Reed, what do you... Reed? Where'd she go? Three less than in a day, today. Just don't get it. What kind of Origineum arts is this? It makes me sick looking at it. She squats behind a boulder, looking around. The soldiers keep marching for their heart upon the twilight wild. The colors of the jubilant uniform, the colors of the jubilant uniform fade beneath layers of mud and soil. They seem as if held in a silhouette, one lit by a glimmer from somewhere unknown. Just need to pounce and retreat, and I'll be fine. A hundred meters. They turn to walk straight for the bold and someone hides behind. He's at the back of the squad. Looks like he didn't get the speech either. Made himself out so bloody big in all his letters. They're headed for, yeah, same direction as the letter said. Fifty meters. Someone clenches the wooden cudgel in her, in her fist. Is this the city you're heading for that in Port to you? Is the city you're heading for that in Port to you? Who's telling you to head on? Still go, even if you die? Even though you're being battered by wind and rain? And all these people one after another? Still go? 30 meters. She remembers the first time she saw Dugan's troops years ago. She told her once she was decided once she was decided. Decided. Once she was decided, she could come to them. The leader would give all Terrans a place to survive. I'm sorry. I never could as I never could be as sure as you were. You never looked back, but I did. She rushes out, like those Victorian soldiers in the daytime did, like Chen did. People that have ceased to be can be knocked down again. So as long as every attack comes swiftly enough. Ferociously, until they sleep peacefully in the soul of Tara, never call to stand again. The soldier does not fall. He merely stumbles for a moment from the blow to the neck, then swiftly spins around, pulling out his sword. He is ghastly silent. You lot, out of my way. I'll send you all right back with him. No, I will. I'll do it. I was just here to find my brother, but you're all the same. Finally attacks. Piss off. At least say something. Where? That was. Ah. Bloody hell. It just. It's not. It's just not enough, it is, is it? Kajo flies out of her hand, blocking the next attack. And in that moment, the soldier's mask falls off. She feels a sort of illusion at for a moment. As if the way he brandishes his weapon and flows for a fraction of an instant, as if her brother is about to give him both his hands, like when Victoria's police busted them in younger times, shielding her in his embrace. And then she sees his familiar face also clearly. His forehead drips no blood, and his eyes turn to turn no look to his little sister. Those eyes gaze to the distant, vague horizon, a rage of firelight long burning within, just like the night he decided to. Out Dublin, and Dublin soldiers surrounded him. Salmon blankly dazed, blankly, dazedly reaches out a hand to the man for her. Admiration, aspiration, guilt, regret, all swallowed up by the ice, cold fire, like, all swallowed up by the ice, cold fire that her fingertips brush. Fear, all she is left with is fear, fear of that longing, maniac. Maniacal. Maniacal. How do you say that again? Maniacal. Oh, sorry, I did say it right. Maniacal. 
All she's all she is left is the fear, the fear of that long maniacal burning unto death. And before time can move again, flames blaze high, incandescent sparks blossoming in the sky, night sky. So close to her fingers could almost touch, a flame blooms forth and vanishes again before she can grasp it. The soldier falls over to the ground and never makes another whisper. Final time? Final time? Final time! Manual Dori ni sure by your in the show. みんな、助けに来たよ。貴様の戦士は私が決める。リンゴちゃん、今日もよろしくね。ついてきて。どけ。私が守る。じゃ、貴様の戦士は私が決める。私からは敵が見える。向こうから。残念だったね。みんな、こっち来て。怖くない貴様の戦士は私が決める。敵の視界には何も映らない。心配無用よ。誰一人通すものか。戦闘中お前たちの命に火種をまいた。傷ついて。狙い。私からは敵が見える。よ、攻撃。遅すぎる。影に踏み込まない刃に海を切り裂く。敵の視界には何も映らない。心配にならない。命令を了解した。誰にも縛られるつもりはない。え、ほら、しっかり。Oh, no wonder it was slow because Irene was in the mire. The mire made her attack speed slow so she couldn't get her SP fast enough. No wonder. Wonder. Okay. Are you scared of my fire? But your fire is the same as mine. Oh, It will burn forever. Trying to smother its glow to extinguish it is futile. You need it here it can be seen. Why don't you let those who see it hear it? I know that in my body is a fire. I can if I look for it, I can feel it burning in me. After so long, the pain of it comes to me even before my thoughts. Our parents warned us to take the flames we were born with, to swallow them down, hide them away, and never let them be seen by anyone. But I knew how my sister would secretly burn whatever she didn't want. And 
then she gets something better for it. Can I do that too? Dad, can you take me to the bookshop? That morning, I thought I tried acting with her, talking to my parents in her tone of voice. Every time she told me, every time she told them what she wanted, they agree with panic. Like they were being burned, yet in love. She and I had the same appearance of voice and wore the same clothes. So why couldn't I decide myself as her? I want to read the sequel to the Team Night's Adventures, since I don't want anyone asking me. How come a Victorian wouldn't like stories about the Steam Night? Tomorrow, Lost. Your mom and dad are exhausted. Dad, did you recognize me? Of course. How could I ever accept my own two daughters? I only realized that I only realized after that snowy night that he didn't say yes because what I wanted was hard to do. She wouldn't have gone begging to our parents just for a new book. I followed behind her, running as fast as I could. The bells did the night sound, yet we no longer could go home. Evlana, where are we going? Where do you want to go? I don't know. Nowhere's home, so go knock on any old door. You just need to be honest to whoever opens it, and tell them that we have no home to go back to on the snowy test of night. No matter how cold they are, surely they'll sympathize with sympathize with two children. Go, Loshin. Don't be afraid. I'm watching over you. Under the glow of icy purple flame, I knocked haltingly on the first door. The flames had taken the lives of those who hated so only moments ago, but I wondered so badly if those flames would come to kill me instead if I did anything wrong. Did Sir do wrong? I heard there was a play being put on the Tarans neighborhood. I heard there was a play being put on in the Tarans neighborhood. Hence why on such a snowy night, Sir never came home for being so late. My sister made me sit down and study. She simply warmly stared at me. She never answered my question straight. I knew she was very disappointed in me. I should have been able to reach my own aunt. He taught us to ruin the lives of the innocent, the innocent. Stir the schism between the parents and the Victorians. He even plotted his fallen opponent's murder, just like those Victorians who killed our parents. So taking his life, what we were meant to do. My sister could always do the right thing while I, could, while I never could. She gifted, me, she gifted her spirit to me, yet every time I gripped it, that pipe burning with flames, I shivered, just as I did now. Am I right? No, Lashin. Death is merely there to guide him to his dream. Ooh! He showered us in conspiracy and political trickery, healed us of our freedom and dignity. That was detestable, yet detest is all that is. This is a plana, wow. Whoa, wait, the art style. Actually fire, no pun intended. Actually fire, no pun intended. Let's go. Let's go, it's fire, let's go.
You showered us in conspiracy and political trickery. You healed us of our freedom and dignity. That was detestable. Yet detest is all that is. But even while he mastered his method, his sights were set too narrow. That was what truly regrettable. That what was really regrettable. He wanted a little more than the control of a brittle fantasy nation, without serving as the puppet that would crown him. The power I hope to have in my hands is far grander than the daydream of that madman. What about you, Lost? What do you want? Yes, it's good that your blood and your upbringing have carried yourself high, but if, but if you want for nothing, then what sort of position am I meant to find my sight? Go on. This is your wish on a sunny night. I'll let you aspire as grand as you want. I didn't answer. I only had the tiny scream, like the warm fire of her heart. I didn't dare answer. No matter, my sister. If you don't know where your own desires lie, then first become me. From here on, you and I are both the leader. Intently, that flame watched me, and I became a shadow. Ha! Ah, have you been after me all this time? Since when? No, I simply heard from Fionn that you seen your brother in the spot of heart that you win. I guess you come here for yourself. I, I guess you come here yourself. It's not as if it any of your business. I've been searching all this way for the dead controlled by my by arts. I want them to find me. And I can accomplish that, just as you saw just now. Gone are the marching footfalls of soldiers, the barons stand silent. Neither of them say a word. After a while, Simon squats down, brushes the dirt off the mask. Then carefully places it over the soldier's face. Reddling little Fionn. Did he ever tell you about the first time I ever saw Dublin? We were in the city, me and my brother. We were in good moods. We lined up to see if any of the pubs needed last minute waiters or what have you. If we were in bad mood, we'd hit the bitches. we hit the bissies windows with our catapults. Ha! Ah, couldn't tell if you couldn't tell you if all the nobles were busy. To be honest, I just knew the one who drove us off the act with the bus. Then one day, there was this injured woman lying in an alleyway who shouted at me car and wanted me to deliver a letter for her. We guessed who she was. I delivered it and found a place found her a place to hide. I told her of all the scummiest Victorians in the city. The number one would be that one with the tiny mustache issuing all the decrees. Bloody, originium product taxes, alcohol taxes, and target durin drugs. As a target car and drugs. I said durin on accident. Bloody, originium product taxes, alcohol taxes, and target dark car and drugs. Ordinances to round up unemployed, unemployed tarans and house them in one place. He was the one on Kelly delivering all that. And then there was the army, and then there was the army man stationed in the alleys. I couldn't do nothing but watch him beat all those people to death. And if I stared at him a moment more, he would have taken me away. If she and her specter force wanted to march to attack, then those who had to be on the list. If she, if she and her specter force wanted marks to attack, then those two had to be on the list. But I was wrong. She responded it wasn't Dublin's aim to retaliate against the Victorian Tower instead. My brother told her which no my brother told her which noble had the biggest house, which had the poshest dinner parties, which had a treasure hoard enough to arm an army, support a plate armor. 
That was even more wrong, she said. Dublin wasn't stealing from Victorians to give to Paris. And she said, if we all if all we do is kill a few people, see ourselves in their position, it won't make things better for the Tarans. It will just make us become them. Just like how Tarans who learned Victorian etiquette copied the Victorian accent could pass as Victorian noble. Then she tell you what it was Dublin wanted? Ha! Ah, nope. But my brother had it all figured out afterwards. So we decided to join Dublin and went following them on the info they left behind. We left the nomadic city, headed for a settlement close by. It was along the way there I suddenly remembered how Dublin disposed of their iron privately. I was scared for my life, so scared I felt I had to run. It's not as if I hate every last Victorian, you know. And if I don't hate them, I'm not prepared to make them bleed. But there's no alternative to this. I don't, I, I don't like saying this, but Dublin is an army. And the one thing armies face is war. I know, of course I know. Rationally, I know they're in the right. What's wrong is I can't do it. How come I can't do what my brother could? How could he be sure, so sure while I had to run? How could he put up with dying and burning after death while I can't even stand seeing him turn out this way? How can she stand up to the ashes while I can only shrink into her shadow and weep? Plushy, what is it you want? I, I wrote for you what my life in terms of love and dream too. But in your burning ecstasy, there was no place to hold them. What? You're not reciting poetry, are you? Are you serious? At me? Are you trying to show off your upbringing? Sorry. I... I... Sorry. I... Don't know what I should say. There's so much I could say to encourage others or comfort others. But none of it is mine. Ha! Ah, you can stop. Someone buries her face in her hands. The other guy. Uh, uh, hi, hi. Uh, so sorry about that. Just joining the stream. Uh, sorry, just joining Hello? the the uh, thing Hello? in the. Hi. Uh, sorry. What up? Um, you guys read the um uh, the uh the, the what Nurus posted in general, right? Uh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's. Oh my goodness, dude. I I I I need you need to resolve the problems too. No gosh. Yeah, I, I can resolve that, no worries. Yeah, Leave um... We, uh... I have to find another way to contact uh, Kirk in the meantime. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no yeah. worry. Understandable. Okay. Uh, again, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so sorry to disturb you in the midst of the conversation. I'll just stay for now and uh, continue doing what I got to do, okay? Alright, okay. gotcha. Thank you so much. So sorry to disturb you. Someone buries her face in her hands. Her grief, like the Dublin soldiers who no longer speak, is shrouded deep in a green silhouette. Shrouded in a deep green silhouette. Her grief, like the Dublin soldiers who no longer speak, is shrouded in a deep green silhouette. I dreamt, they murmured. Years and years ago, we were working in a Victorian's manner. One day, my brother got me to drop everything I was doing and slip out with him to hunt. We walked for ages until we reached the edge of, a, of the ag plate and we looked out down the wilderness below. We couldn't see where the soil ended. It was all bursting full of wild flowers. My brother said, That's there. That's Tara. He said so much that, arrogant shite. He sang into the wind at the top of his voice. He said there was so much we wanted to say but couldn't. 
because the Victorians robbed us of our language. The only thing we could do was hide our love and sorrow away in our time, old folk song. And he said we've done something incredibly and he said we've done something incredible today. We didn't work with the Victorians today, so we rebelled against them. He must have been absolutely full of it back then. Full on dreaming of becoming like a hero in the legend. Ha! Same here. They're very pretty, the flames you left them. Just like the flowers you saw that day. But those flames are true flowers. They're just... From the moment we are born to the moment we die, it all runs past the blink of an eye. You aren't able to hold them. That's fine. I don't care. I knew for the longest time you died. Even I was prepared to die when we went to Dublin. I don't care. I never trusted. I never trusted guys like Bragg, like we dreamed, but a hero's death. But at least, Reed, I want to hear the truth. Your truth. What was, was the future doom and promise? The thing he was chasing even once he died? Is it made up? In the dark of the night, the flame ignites at the end of the sphere. Cast in the firelight, reeds tears finally flowing down her face. And poor Reed. Moroi. Okay, I'll do this tutorial really quick. After we're done with this tutorial, I'll probably have to call the stream over because there is, uh, uh, we're running out of time here today for me, but I would want to say the next week, uh, how many days left do we have for this event? 11 days. So if I do the math right, I'll be doing a stream on Monday and in the coming Monday, it's going to be a long stream finishing this event. And after this event is finished, uh, we're probably just gonna farm and all that. But yeah, that's the main focus for, for Monday's coming stream, uh, for the new stream schedule. So let me just take a look at this tutorial first. FC tutorial... The flames of war spread towards everyone... Oh. The flames of war spread towards everyone who lives in these lands. We must be ready. Read Operators Winning in Camouflage. Oh, it's Whispering and Popcar. set on fire under some circumstances. Burning reed bed no, can no, no longer provide camouflage and operators within will take arts damage and burn them. Oh! Sorry, I'm trying to deal with the fire. Hang in there, Melantha. The fire is dying down. Fire is finally out. Deploy operators in burning reed beds to gradually put out the fires. 
Fires may spread when there is an adjacent reed pit. The fire is spreading. Operators deployed in reed pits can put out the fire and prevent uh, it from spreading. Let me demonstrate. You are an instructor, right? Yeah, you are an instructor. Focus on the enemies in front of you. Their attacks will deal extra burn damage when near a fire. It is also important to put out fires quickly and prevent them from spreading. I'm counting on you. Okay, I think without further ado, everyone, I think I have to end the stream here. Uh, ending the stream as such is uh, is happening because I uh, it, it's getting uh, away from me. So yeah, I only have two hours stream, but don't worry, guys. It's coming Monday. I'm finishing up the story and I'm doing lots of other stuff for Arc Knights in the uh, the on Monday. So do stay tuned. It's going to be a longer stream than usual. So yeah. Also, again, thank you guys so much for uh, joining uh, joining the stream today. I really appreciate all the likes. Uh, like all the, uh, the the chats and everyone really appreciate everyone for joining today i'm really glad to talk to you all as as usual and when we come back again monday arc nights immediately so do not forget that new stream schedule will be coming out this tomorrow to plan early ahead so again thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one laters